I am in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm about to go consume beer at some craft breweries. I think I'm gonna bring my camera with me and maybe do some little updates along the way. It's absolutely beautiful here. I feel super relaxed and I just wanna have a chill video. I'm gonna do an unboxing later and show you guys. My friend actually bought me beer glasses. So I will unbox that, share it with you, and just sort of take you on my journey. This is my second to last day in Florida, and yesterday I went to a beer and wine place to buy some mix of six items, and I wanted to share those with you right now. All right, so first things first, I got, I feel like there's so much background noise. I got pumpkin spice latte. It is a white stout. This is Swamp Head Brewery. I'm guessing it's Florida. Uh, yes, out of Gainesville, Florida. This one is a Strawberry Coconut Milkshake IPA. This is brewed in Colorado, actually. And I'm very excited about that because I really like milkshake IPAs and that sounds really cool. This is Anderson Valley Chai Solstice. It is an ale with natural flavors added and that one is also from oh that's from california i've never seen any of these before i'm surprised they're not in texas all right so this one crazy packaging is humboldt brewing co nectar pale ale Blue, brewed with hemp seeds i'm intrigued by this one because i feel like beer sometimes can taste a little like little hemp -y, so we'll see. That is also out of California. This one is the Control Freak Pale Ale. This one was like six bucks or something. Um, I'm very excited about this as well. This is brewed in Florida. Finally, Anderson Valley again, also like the other out of California. This is a hazy sour ale with passion fruit, guava, and coriander. If it's anything like the other passion fruit beers I've had, it should be really good. So, that's that. Hello everyone, I am back from Florida. It was wonderful. Um, I feel like everyone was pretty cool about COVID stuff, at least in Jacksonville, it seemed pretty normal. People had masks on. Uh, we went to St. Augustine a day, it was really rainy, no one had masks, but I don't know, everything felt pretty chill and it was super relaxing. It was really nice. I tried a ton of local beer. Um, they had a lot of sours there, which I appreciated. I tried a really good peach one and I did a flight at one point, which I guess you're gonna see all that. So I don't know why I'm even saying this. I wanna do an unboxing now. Uh, my friend who I was visiting, Tyler, 
we'll call him that, bought me beer glasses. So I'm gonna open it, see what it looks like, and we will go from there. I guess it's off camera, but that's all right. And you see my dog back there. She's probably gonna get excited. Nice, care and handling tips. We definitely need that. All right, so we've got this. I don't know, they're listed on the side, but I'm not sure exactly what they are. Maybe this is wheat beer? The, the options are gonna be Pilsner, English Pub, Belgian Ale, Craft Pub, Porter Stout, and wheat beer. This is quite, I feel like this is Pilsner. Could we be right? I'll put a little check mark on the screen. You know, I always promise and I never deliver. I always say, I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna add that. I'm really gonna try. We have got wheat beer, maybe? This looks like a Hefeweizen glass to me. So maybe this is the wheat beer. Maybe this is the pub glass. Let's go with wheat beer. This box has a lot of holes and not a lot of glasses. Ooh, this is pretty standard. This has gotta be the English pop glass. Something shorter. Perhaps this is the craft pub glass. Craft pub. I'm going with it. Ooh. Mm, it's like a... Wait. It's like music. And last without but not least, this is the stout glass. I hope I'm right on at least some of these. So that's that. And then on the same trend of glasses, my friend from work, Lauren, bought me a Chimay, Chimay goblet of sorts. It's very hefty. I think I'm gonna buy this beer because I'm, I feel like I had it at a bar back home, Zeno's. I think I had had something on draft or perhaps tried a sample, but I know that I can get a tall bottle of like the triple or the double or whatever. And then right now their autumn cheese is out. So I'm gonna do like a little beer and cheese pairing and probably put that on my Instagram. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make it and I'm really excited going forward. I just sat down and planned out my videos for like the rest of the year pretty much. So some fun holiday stuff, some more food stuff, of course beer, always beer but it's gonna be good. All right, well, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, share it with a friend, and uh, come back next week for some more. Okay.